hello friends and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to compare the Pro Boolean and the Boolean compound objects. So without any further ado, let's get started. Uh, so here we are in 3ds Max. Let's begin by creating some object. So here I'm creating one cylinder and then let's create a box. And I'm going to keep this inside the cylinder, something like this. And over this, we are going to apply the Boolean compound object. Uh, before that, I'll create a copy of this. And on the on the copy, we are going to apply the Pro Boolean. So select the cylinder, go to compound objects. And here we have the boolean, click on boolean. Let's take the subtract operation, add operand and hit. Now in the second one, we will be using the pro boolean, but before that I've created a copy. So select the cylinder, go to pro boolean and this I'll select subtract, start picking and hit the operand. Now over here the result looks almost similar but uh, once I press F4 in the first one where we have used the boolean it has added an extra edge and here in this there is no extra edge. Along with that as you can see here, the segment of operand A will remain as it is in the boolean, whereas in case of pro boolean, it has removed all the height segments. So that is one difference. Now we'll try the boolean and the pro boolean with multiple objects. So here I'll just reduce the size of this box. Uh, let's create multiple copies of this. Something like this. And then we'll create a copy of this entire set so that we can compare the Boolean and the Pro Boolean. Now, in the first one, I'm going to select all these boxes and convert this into a group. And the same thing I'm going to do with the other one. So all the boxes are now converted into a group. Now let's select the cylinder and we'll go to compound object boolean. And here I'm going to select the subtract, click on add operands and hit on the group. Now you can see it's taking one object from the group. So we'll have to repeat for every individual object in the group and the result is like this. Now on the second one we will be using the pro boolean and again I'm using the same subtract operation start picking and hit the group and as you can see here the entire group is subtracted from the operand A in one click. Now here the boolean is not considering the group whereas the pro boolean will consider the group and take it as single object. So that is the second difference. Now we'll create an object and make it convert this into a poly first and then we'll make some changes here something like this you can take any other object so here I'm creating an object something like this and over this I'll apply the turbo smooth modifier and 
here we get something like this. Now over this, we will try the boolean and the pro boolean. So we will create a cylinder and we will put the cylinder inside this editable poly object, something like this. And before we apply, let's create a copy of this something like this and now in the first one select the editable poly and then we'll go to compound objects select boolean subtract add operand and hit the cylinder now same thing we'll repeat with the other one but we will be using the pro boolean subtract and click on the cylinder so now here the output looks almost similar i'll press f4 and here you can see the difference let me change the color so that you can see the thing properly now look at the extra edges we have got in the first one whereas the next one looks pretty clean now we have one more example so here i have this cylinder and over this i'm creating a box or a cylinder and a sphere and let's create a copy of this first one will apply boolean and the second one we will try the pro boolean so select the cylinder go to compound objects boolean and this time i'm using the union operation add operands and we will add these operands and in the second one again select the cylinder go to compound objects pro boolean select union click on this start picking and add so here when i press f4 you can see that uh, in the first one where we have applied the boolean uh, the cylinder remains as it is only you can see there is one extra edge added here but in the second one you can see the the height segments of the cylinder of both the cylinders had, has been removed by the pro boolean so now let's apply turbo smooth modifier to both of them go to modifier subdivisions and apply turbo smooth and same thing i'm going to do with the other one as turbo smooth and let's see the result now over here it looks uh, like the boolean is performing better compared to pro boolean but in the pro boolean we have some other features that we can activate select this second one go to pro boolean and inside this we have got an option that is advanced option click on the advanced option group and inside this we have some of the options so first we will try this option that is make quadrilaterals so just click on this and you can see the overall output has changed and down here you have some options that is uh, planar edge removal so if you keep the option no edge removal in that case you'll find that it's not having a smooth output so if you want a proper smooth output click on remove all so that makes the thing more smooth so now after using these uh, advanced options which are available in the pro boolean we have a much better geometry than what we are getting with the boolean so this is how the boolean and the pro boolean works and uh, i hope you like the comparison my choice is the pro boolean what is your choice you let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching have a nice day